The new gaming year of 2020 means a whole bunch of awesome things. Sony, Microsoft and Nintendo are firing on all cylinders when it comes to reasons you should invest in their hardware, showcasing libraries of games, current gen and past, all worth playing. Thanks to being at the close of the generation, developers are more familiar with this run of consoles than ever. Guaranteeing the best titles on the market and best of all, we'll all have even newer consoles by this time next year. So how to guarantee the generation closes out with a bang? We know five of the year's biggest releases are coming in the first five months. The Last of Us 2, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Resident Evil 3, Animal Crossing New Horizons, and Doom Eternal. But what of the games in development that are yet to have official announcements or gameplay? Those remaining months have to be filled by something, and if the conversations currently doing the rounds are anything to go by, it'll be many of the following. I'm Scott from WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 secret video games that could drop in 2020. Number 10, the next Batman game. Let's start out with something the developers finally acknowledged after years of silence, with a few tweets confirming Warner Brothers weren't done with Batman yet. Whilst Rocksteady maintain a silence now into its fifth year, WB Montreal first rocked our bat socks clean off in September 2019, tweeting Capture the Night, ahead of that night's PlayStation State of Play. Sadly, the game was a no-show, but we did get some logos revealed in a quick montage, looking like a combination of The Court of Owls, Ra's al Ghul, Cult of Cobra, and one more. Cut to January 9th, and WB Montreal shared another new image. Resembling the Gotham City Police Department badge merged with the Order of Saint Dumas in the center, I have a mighty fine theory as to how all of these things connect. Putting everything together, we have multiple factions looking to take down Batman. And the slogan, Capture the Night, is definitely invoking the moving of pieces on a chessboard. Fascinatingly, this lines up with the history of another Warner Brothers property, Shadow of Mordor, which did start out as a Batman tie-in. The story goes that at one point, that franchise's signature element of capturing enemies and amassing a faction all your own was done through a Joker gas equivalent, which is a mighty fine idea for Warner Brothers to carry across onto another one of their properties, and then just develop themselves. A Batman meets Shadow of Mordor style crossover? You heard it here first. Unless it's been revealed by the time this video goes live. Number 9, Bioshock 4. In case you missed it, there is one official press statement for Bioshock 4, where new studio Cloud Chamber noted that they've started to work on the next iteration of the globally acclaimed Bioshock franchise. While starting work makes it sound like a release is ages away, the next Bioshock has been in development for years, having been mentioned multiple times by Kotaku, who leaked its existence back in 2018. With this version in mind, it seems that there is a version of Bioshock 4 that might have continued through to now, starting development under a different team, but finally getting over the finish line. Cloud Chamber deciding a full year after the game leaked to mention its existence to the public is a confident step. And as they'll have been working with PS4 and Xbox One technology this whole time, it makes sense to drop the game before the turn of the generation. Number 8, Elden Ring. From Software have gone from small experimental studio to complete revolutionaries, damn near inventing a whole genre with the popularity of Dark Souls and embarking on a hot streak that includes three Dark Souls games, Bloodborne and Sekiro's Shadows Die Twice. As the company has grown and staff expanded, with creative director Hidetaka Miyazaki now running the place, their rollout of titles has only gotten faster. Now, we did only hear about the Dream Team matchup of GRR Martin and Miyazaki's new IP Elden Ring at E3 2019, but a leaked listing from Target points to a June 2020 release date. Even better, From Software's own website now mentions Elden Ring as coming in June 2020, as part of a blurb summarizing their titles overall. Lastly, we did just find out that Elden Ring will be shown at the Taipei Game Show in February, meaning its release hype is more than hotting up. Number 7, Fable 4. Another game that's been in development hell for quite some time, at the start of the generation we were all looking forward to Fable Legends. The game was reportedly so close to completion that it was being demoed to crowds who could get hands on. But when Lionhead Studios went under, Legends was unceremoniously canned alongside them. Development on the next Fable then languished until a major leak from June 2019 confirmed that the game was still going ahead. However, it was now being developed by Forza Horizon's Playground Games. A strange shakeup to expectation, it somewhat makes sense as Playground are a first-party Microsoft studio, and being based out of Leamington Spa, England, they hopefully get the signature British comedy and charm that made the franchise what it is. There's a chance that this doesn't appear until the launch event for the Xbox Series X at the close of the year. However, my guess is a reveal trailer at E3 to secure a future for the next generation of Xbox. 
Number six, Splinter Cell. Answers on a postcard as to what the living hell Ubisoft are even doing with the Splinter Cell IP. We've had multiple developers getting drunk and teasing a sequel, the official Spanish account for the company tweeting, it is necessary to understand the darkness in order to face it, alongside a picture of Sam Fisher, and yet both times these were just hoaxes. The first time it was apparently just a joke at various fan bases' expense, and the latter was for Ghost Recon Wildlands DLC. However, the smoking gun has long since fired on another installment of Splinter Cell, as that was part of the massive Walmart leak of 2018, where the following titles were revealed. Just Cause 4, Dragon Quest 2, LEGO DC Villains, Borderlands 3, Rage 2, Gears of War 5, and another Assassin's Creed. Obviously, you'll quickly notice that every single one of these came true, except Splinter Cell. Word on the digital street is that Ubisoft are deciding precisely how to even do another Splinter Cell in an age where stealth isn't what it was. And there's been mention of a Splinter Cell VR experience for Oculus as well, alongside Michael Ironside joking that he never left voicing Sam Fisher when asked about doing more games. Something is clearly in the works. Walmart were informed of its imminent listing, and with Rainbow Six Siege proving that Ubisoft can do military multiplayer better than the rest, how about Fisher and his beloved Spies vs. Mercs mode comes back better than ever? Number 5. Horizon Part 2 Across the last six years, veterans guerrilla games have only released two titles. PS4 launch game Killzone Shadowfall and the almightily gorgeous Horizon Zero Dawn. The latter felt like the team had been held captive on Helgen itself, forced to forego every idea that wouldn't fit a brown and grey shooter, until the turn of the generation let everything coalesce into one. Horizon was Guerrilla's best received game, perhaps ever, and it's clear that they were starting a franchise. Zero Dawn ends on a sequel tease as to why a certain character did a certain nefarious thing, and it's the only question left from the story overall. With that in mind, Guerrilla's own website confirmed existence of Horizon Part 2 through a job listing, describing the roles already filled in-house. It reads, and I quote, Within Guerrilla, we have four teams dedicated to creating the stunning environments of Horizon. One team focuses on the creation of lush and stunning vegetation. Although it reads somewhat weirdly, this description of ongoing development certainly doesn't apply to the existing version of Horizon, which stopped receiving patches in February 2018. Either because it's been three years since the game launched and two since they stopped supporting it, Horizon's sequel helps close out the PS4, or it could be part of the PS5's reveal event. Number 4, Mafia 4 and or Mafia 2 Remastered As insane as it sounds, Mafia 3 came out way back in October 2016. Being the first project from the then-new studio Hangar 13, the team have gone dark ever since. Sadly, they suffered layoffs and creative shakeups in the years following this divisive entry into the saga, and after staying active through work on various Borderlands games, they're long overdue another release. Thankfully for Mafia fans, website segment Next picked up on Take 2, registering trademarks for both the Mafia brand overall and Mafia 2. The logo treatment for the first is identical to how it looked in both Mafia 1 and 2, the most beloved installments in the saga, and an aesthetic to return to for a fourth installment. As for Mafia 2, that could totally be a remaster and a way to get back in fans' good graces. Either way, 2K and Take 2 are clearly talking about the continuation of Mafia right now. And when Rockstar are busy with GTA and Red Dead Online, what better time to make a return? Number 3, Demon's Souls Remastered. 2009's Demon's Souls was an obtuse and awkward, yet ultimately lovable game that eventually became Dark Souls. The latter took off like crazy, but it left Demon's Souls in a strange place. One of recognition amongst hardcore fans, and a curio to the wider game-playing public. Enter Tidux, a known insider responsible for leaking the PS4's menus, the existence of Titanfall, and even some information on Fallout 4, all before they were officially revealed. Back in October 2019, Tidux took to Twitter to randomly drop the bombshell that Demon's Souls was being remastered by none other than Bluepoint Games, who turned in the immaculate Shadow of the Colossus remake. Bluepoint make a ton of sense thanks to now being associated with PlayStation, and Demon's Souls was a PS3 exclusive. Plus, they've been tweeting various rhymes and riddles across the last few months that heavily imply this is their next game. Number 2, Tekken Cross Street Fighter I will leave it up to the comments to decide whether this or my number one pick is the craziest thing possible, but there was a time when Namco and Capcom united to reveal the Tekken Cross Street Fighter project. Said to be two titles, the first injecting both sets of characters into the Street Fighter engine, remixing animations and control schemes to fit, the second would be vice versa. 
After years of production and teasers, we did get Street Fighter Cross Tekken, and it was a massive success. However, in the time after, the other game just never materialized. Production from both companies had picked up massively, Capcom now focusing on Street Fighter V and Namco working to make the return of Tekken the best it could be. Then in December 2019, director Katsuhiro Harada asked the fandom if they were still waiting for a Tekken-based Street Fighter game. The answer was a resounding, of course I'm waiting, to which Harada then held off on stating where the project is. Thankfully, earlier in the year, he did say that Tekken Cross Street Fighter was at a pretty far stage into its development, making it sound like the team could turn it around ASAP. Tekken 7 is slaying right now. Street Fighter's brand recognition is finally restored, so why not bring those together? And number one, SOCOM. Yes, this is gonna feel like it's out of nowhere, but another SOCOM game actually makes a ton of sense for both Sony and Gorilla. First up, we have another leak from Tidux, that same person who proved themselves with Fallout 4, PS4, and Titanfall details across the generation, taking to Twitter in January 2019 to reveal that another SOCOM was starting development. That would be all if not for a very interesting hire a few months beforehand, where Rainbow Six Siege game director Simon LaRouche and multiplayer designer Chris Lee had joined Gorilla's ranks for a quote-unquote secret new project. It goes without saying that Rainbow Six Siege has topped the most played charts on Steam and consoles for a reason, and both Sony and Gorilla are likely looking to scratch that military shooter itch with something developed entirely in-house. Forget Killzone. Guerrilla Games will dominate the next generation, maybe even from launch, with both the return of SOCOM and a sequel to Horizon Zero Dawn. And those are my picks for the secret video games I think will drop across 2020. Let me know your favorites down in the comments below and if there were any that I missed. For now, I've been Scott from WhatCulture.com. Please check out the WhatCulture Gaming podcast and I'll catch you soon.